Capacity charts are available for all types of slings. They are often called rigging charts. The capacity of all slings are affected by 1. The material of the sling, 2. The size of the sling, and 3. The hitch of the sling. Always protect all synthetic slings from edges, corners, protrusions, and abrasive surfaces. The capacity of synthetic slings is affected by many factors. To ensure that the rated capacity of the sling is valid, the competent rigger must avoid several problems or mistakes. Mistakes that include the improper connections of the sling may include bunching or pinching the sling in the hardware, or excessive tightening of a choke, or not adjusting the capacity of the basket hitch when it is not a true vertical basket hitch, or not adjusting the capacity of a multiple leg sling for the horizontal sling angle or the improper use of a double leg basket or choker at a horizontal sling angle that is too small, that is less than 60 degrees. Synthetic web slings can be used with the same basic hitches as wire rope. Even the most experienced riggers aren't expected to carry every detail in their head. That's why a rigger's handbook or a sling angle reference guide like this one is so valuable. There's a ton of good information in here that both the equipment operator and the rigger should refer to if there's any question in their mind. Rigging and lifting should not be a guessing game. Just remember, there's a lot of other people on this team that are depending on you to do your job right. Taking a few minutes to check something out of the manual is a good investment of your time. The way you attach the rigging to the machine is important. This is not the way to do it. Bucket teeth are not designed to support suspended loads. If the operator accidentally dumps the bucket, the sling will slip right off. Hooking up this way can also damage the sling. Place wire rope, chain, or straps so they hang free or rest on a smooth surface. Don't allow slings to pass over a sharp edge, like the edge of a bucket, where the sling could be cut. If there's absolutely no other way, place some durable, slip-resistant padding over the sharp edge to protect the sling. Most attachment points on equipment have sharp edges. Sharp edges can cut synthetic slings and wire rope. A simple and inexpensive way to attach lifting devices is to use a shackle. Buy one that's designed for this kind of work, and then use it. Web slings and polyester round slings shall not be constricted or bunched between the ears of a clevis or shackle or in a hook. When a polyester round sling is used with a shackle, it is recommended that it be used or rigged in the bow of the shackle. When placing a sewn eye on hardware, make sure there are no sharp edges or surfaces that can cause abrasion of the eye. Do not force the eye over the hardware. Make sure that the width of the hook or the diameter of the shackle or trunnion is no bigger than one-third the length of the sewn eye. Choker hitch capacity is 80% of single leg if the angle of the choke is 120 degrees or greater. At 100 degrees, the capacity drops to 60%. Basket hitch capacity is double only if legs are vertical. At a 30 degree horizontal angle, the capacity is equal to single leg. Three-leg slings will have a 50% increase in capacity only if the center of gravity is properly placed among all three legs of the sling. A four-leg sling usually does not have a capacity greater than three legs. In some cases, the capacity may be based on two legs. 